with less than a month to the 2019 general elections. Election observation team from both the European Union and Economic Community of West African States are already in Nigeria. At separate COSI call on the leadership of the Independent National Electoral Commission, both teams said their presence in the country is a reflection of Nigeria's leading role within the ECOWAS sub-region and Africa. We would work really strongly with all the stakeholders of this country, with the national observers also, uh, because they are really important and they are deployed in all the states, but we want also work with the international uh, observation mission that will be on this country, African Union, ECOWAS, and all people willing to work with us. We are here to just let I, as a local management board, know that ECOWAS is deploying a long term observer mission and will be deploying a short term observer mission to observe the Nigerian elections of February 16, 2019 and March 7, 2019. Elated INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu welcomed the visitors to Nigeria and assure them that the commission is not under pressure to deliver a free, fair, credible election. He also briefed them on some of the commission's recent engagements. The panel of adult staff for election duty will be drawn from the pool of young Nigerians serving in the National Youth Service Team. Therefore, the claim that the commission has outsourced the recruitment of election duty staff to partisan actors is the usual allegation on the eve of elections and should be disregarded. Following recent consultations with stakeholders across the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria, the attention of the Commission has been drawn to a new plan by some political actors to use food vendors around polling units with large voter population as collection points for cash for votes as well as other forms of material inducement to voters on election day. We are aware of this. <coughs> we want to assure Nigerians that it will not work. About 40 EU election observation team and 32 from ECOWAS would monitor the conduct of next month's general election. Chooks Okwato, CNN News.